what's up so it's me it's joey bags i'm back it's your favorite unknown sim racing youtuber youtuber and i got another video for you so check this today i have for you the pxn a7 shifter now this was sent to me from pxn i guess they've loved the videos that i've done about the v12 ddl the v12 dds the v12 cdw the 13 inch wheel the pedals so they sent this off to me they were like here you go check this out let us know what you think so i've got this here for you so let's go ahead and see what this says <laughs> six plus one shifter PC, plug and play, multiple interface, high quality materials, six plus one shifter, LED indicator light, dual function button, mounting clamp, gear shift activation, plug USB cable activation plug, registered jack cable. Okay, so it looks like it has quite a few different ways to plug it in so let's go ahead let's open this bad boy cool part is i actually have the logitech one so i can crack out the logitech one and put them right next to each other right. the paperwork user manual So it looks like it has RJ11, so you can plug that directly into the wheel. And I believe it has USB. So, not bad. So it looks like the So it looks like they're using similar flow cell phone to what they should put in the real bases. Oh, what? It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Cable here is okay. So they've got. Ooh, this is a rather large connector to hey, a telephone jack rj11 cool so we got that oh we got more cables here okay so we've got this same plug to usb so this can go directly to pc if you want it so this is to the base this is the pc and they have another one ah the ps2 okay so I did read this somewhere where I believe you can use this shifter, it being USB, you, uh, PS2 plug. I don't have a PS2 connector on my motherboard, but I wonder if that would work. But I believe also Thrustmaster bases use PS2 for their shifter. So maybe that's a possibility. Here we go. All right, so I'm already liking this. So one simple clamp, which is good. It disappoints me that I see no holes to directly screw this to a rig. So you're only clamping it. I don't kind of like that. What I do like is that they have a ball end on the clamp here. So that's kind of nice. Let's see. So let's see this. Oh. Six. And then 
press down to get into reverse. That's good. I have to say the shifts feel really good compared to here's the two button it's park and then high low. I guess if you were playing like Euro truck simulator or truck simulator. Here we go. I have The Logitech shifter here and similar one little clamp here but they give you the two screw holes so you can mount it that way hmm. I don't know I kind of very similar in design. I like the smaller form factor of the PXN. I like the shift boot on the Logi. But there's something I don't know. I don't traditionally play with a shifter when I'm racing. So, this is kind of like really a non-issue for me because I mean, I'll attach it to the rig, but I don't really use it. Like I can tell you I've maybe used this a total of five times. And every time I did so horribly that I don't even bother. So. All right, let's go ahead and let's plug up this cable, which is the RJ11 track. So, let's see. All right, so there's a little key. Let's do this on camera for you guys. There we go, nice and tight. There we are. All right, so I'm gonna mount this on the rig and when we come back, um, you'll see it on the rig. Um, maybe I'll use it, we'll see. All right. All right, so here we go. This was super quick to mount and yeah. Truthfully, it really feels a lot like the Logitech shifter, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, let's get this up so that way you can get a bird's eye view and let's do a driving talk. All right guys, so we're in the rig. I got it mounted up. I already went in to a set of Corsa and as you can see, I'm about three seconds or so off of my regular pace. I was practicing a little bit with the stick shift because with the shifter, uh, it's not like a real shifter and I kind of suck in sim with, a, with manual shifting. But I went ahead and you can see right here, first, second, third, Fourth, fifth, sixth. Uh, reverse is a little. There we go. I also mapped the two buttons, the high low button. I mapped it to flash my headlights, and I mapped the other one to DRS. Two buttons I really don't ever use, but I just put it in. So I'm in the Hellspec Miata on VIR North. I really like this course for small cars you know it's got some tight corners and yeah let's get into it so you can laugh your asses off at how bad i am driving stick 
in sin. All right, Colossians first. Hopefully you can hear some of these engine noises. Should have used the brake. Should have used the brake. Yeah, getting this transition. It's just a little weird because it's it's really not like a real car at all. if I can get around this course. Without crashing. Yeah, don't mind the windshield. The whole downshifting thing I've really got to... get used to. Ooh, that was nice rotation on that corner. try this one more time. I promise you, I drive a lot better than this stick in real life.
But I didn't crash. Once again, as usual, I'm sorry I'm quiet if I'm concentrated. But I'm making sure I give you your money's worth. At least an entertainment value. One thirty three. Ah, that was just a little bit. Force feedback on this wheel is so good. Like, I can feel everything on the road. I just don't have the real G forces of driving. Alright, let's see if we can make up some time through here.
Oh yeah. I'll take a 132. All right, so I'll take a 132.818. Um, yeah, uh, honestly, it's, it's a good shifter. Um, I would say it's a little bit more solid feeling than the Maji. I feel the shifts are a little bit stiffer. Oh. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm really happy with it. And um, if you're looking for a shifter and you have this combo, if you have the V12 DD, either the 6 uh, newton meter or the 10, the L or the S, and you want something that's going to work with your PC and with the consoles. Actually, you know what? That'll be the next one. Uh, I'll throw in some videos and maybe I'll do some shorts later of the shifter on both the PS5 and the Xbox. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking for a shifter that goes with the ecosystem and you want to make it work with consoles as well as your PC, honestly, you can't go wrong with the A7. I mean, it's part of their whole setup. You know, I mean, you can always get better shifters that are going to strictly work with your PC, but you have an option of getting a good shifter that will work cross-platform. So, those are my thoughts. Don't want to make this video too long. Guys, please, please, from the bottom of my heart, sub, like, sub, hit that notification bell. Um, I really want to grow. I want to bring you guys more content, more videos. Um, there's so many more things I want to do. I'm trying to get more real bases to test for you guys. So please like and sub. That really helps bring me up to the top. So that way I'm not just your friendly neighborhood sim YouTuber, unknown sim YouTuber. I want to be your friendly neighborhood known sim YouTuber. So, all right, guys, have a good night. Peace.